Hi guys. So I'm doing a different kind of reading. It's going to be called for the Malefic Signs. Aries, Capricorn, and Scorpio. So the Malefic Signs are the ones ruled by a planet that is somewhat known to be a negative planet because of the energy that it gives off. Is sort of commonly known to be to have a negative trait. Um, so Aries ruled by Mars. Mars is the planet of war. Really, I mean, it's the planet known to be uh, warlike and it's thought to be the force. So when something's not happening, it's about force. You force it forward. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Saturn is the disciplinarian. It's the rules, the regulations. It's the drill sergeant or the energy of, uh, you know, Saturn in astrology, the, in Greek and Roman mythology, he married his sister and killed his children to escape responsibility. Um, so he came in, he's, it's the energy of discipline, rules, order, but actually it's very dark. And then we have Scorpio, who was the hunter who made a promise out of revenge to a woman who um, shunned him. To a woman who shunned him, I forget who it was, but he was rejected by a woman. So he said, I'm going to kill all the animals on the earth and to prove to you how strong I am. So it was really, so Zeus sent in the scorpion to kill him, to prevent him from bringing this wrath. So it's all about wrath. <laughs> Aries brings the wrath. Capricorn can bring the wrath. And Scorpio really can bring the wrath as well. So these are the malefic signs. And then we have the mutable, we, they call them cardinal, Aries, Leo, Aries, Capricorn, Libra. Libra can bring the wrath. Um, they are not a malefic sign. Libra is ruled by Venus, so it's not a malefic sign. However, the other signs, mutable signs, go with the flow. It's like, oh, I'm just going to go wherever the river takes me, and that's fine, and I'll just, you know... I'm just going to go with it. That's Gemini, Pisces, Sagittarius. Easy, go with the flow. However, they have a nervous breakdown and then they come to the Aries for support. No offense to those signs, but they come to the malefic signs for the strength of the warrior. So all these signs are warriors, Scorpio, Capricorn. They're all kind of warrior. It can have a negative con connotation though. So right now these planets are going through, these signs are going through um, a conjunction that has not happened in 41 years. This lineup in Capricorn, so this is called the, um, not heliocentric, this is the earth centric. So looking up from earth to the, to the um, constellation so we have here Jupiter direct, Pluto direct, and Saturn direct. This is enforcement, expansion of enforcement. Whatever that means for you, it's what's happening in Capricorn, which is the house of life purpose, achievement, and public reputation. Now, Saturn brings in the rules like a drill sergeant, but it was malefic. He married his sister and killed his children because he wanted to escape responsibility. So in comes Saturn, the energy of order, um, needing order out of chaos. Mars was Aries, the god of war, who's Zeus sent in to basically kill everyone. And then he actually rejected his son Aries when he would come back and say, okay, it is done, and then he would get rejected by Zeus. So um, it was this um, energy of real darkness and real injustice for Aries because he would do what he was told to do and then be punished for it. 
Scorpio was just straight up revenge. This was just rejection on the deepest level. Um, I forget who the hunter was, but it was the hunter. It was straight up rejection on the deepest level. And he felt a very strong soul connection with, I think it might've been Astria. It was a, whoever rules over abundance. I think it was Astria. So he was rejected. So he said, I'm going to go kill all of the animals. Zeus said, no, that's not going to work. So I'm going to send in the scorpion. And so then he immortalized the scorpion in the sky. These are the stories. The stories coming from if you, your son. So the sun was in Aries. The sun was in Capricorn. The sun was in Scorpio. When you were born and your life force spirit came down from the heavens and the other dimensions. So if these energies are influencing you in any way and you wonder, why am I going through this? Why is this all, you know, awful? And why is it so terrible? And why does it never end? So you are here to offer the strength. It's, there's a lot of strength in these dark energies. But at the same time, the goal is to try to walk towards the light and the positive and to be the light for other people you're supposed to shine your light however your soul may find it more comfortable to sit back in the negative energies because that is what rules over these houses okay so i'm going to do the malefics just a general read what is coming in for aries capricorn and scorpio right now they're all connecting mars retrograde over to pluto and then pluto up to mercury and scorpio they're all connecting what is going on with these malefics, angels and spirit guides? What is coming in for the malefic signs? Wow, look at what we have here. We have a ten of coin. We have money, wealth, financial security, and abundance. Family, security, a legacy. So there could be something about money. Financial security could be on your mind. We have a page of swords. We have some challenging communication coming in. It could be somebody who's watching you, thinking that you're loaded, thinking that you have so much money and you're so, you know, and it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What is influencing this energy right here for the malefic signs? What is influencing this energy for the malefic signs? Okay, so we have an eight of swords, we have a fear, we have worry, we have feeling trapped, feeling isolated, feeling alone, feeling like there's nothing you can do, your hands are tied, you don't know what to do, you're trapped. These are all swords, these are all words, they're all thoughts, they're all um, the energy of, you know, um, thinking and communication. So there's something here where you feel like there's nothing you can do. Past energy, we have a four of pentacles. Holding on very tightly, saving your money, holding on to something that is real. It's a, an energy of holding back, holding on, refusing to let go. We have a nine of cups coming in here. This is about celebrations. It's about positive joy. You're almost at the ten of cups. But you're freaking out. Okay. So now you have a nine of or a knight of cups coming in. You have good news. Now there's an emotional message. It's the person on. It's the person delivering the message comes in on the white horse in shining armor, with an emotional message of good news for you. Okay. Out of the entire deck. The card that could have flipped could have been a tower. It could have been a five of cups. It could have been anything. But what you're getting is you're getting some difficult, challenging information from an immature energy here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But you're getting a page. So that could be like a text. It could be like somebody's assistant calls you and they're not that friendly. It could be a challenge. And this sort of puts you into a headspin. 
However, there's something really good coming in for you here. You get an Ace of Cups. <laughs> you get a potential for peace, happiness, and joy, and it's overflowing. Your cup is overflowing. So this is the Malefics, because you guys are going through it the absolute worst right now. 41 years, this conjunction in Capricorn has not happened in 41 years. So if you think back 41 years, you can even do a Google search. What happened 41 years ago? Where were we in society? Um, what was going on politically, internationally? What was happening? So you're dealing with a page of swords, blunt, rude, maybe inconsiderate of your feelings, and it throws you into this like mental spin. So an ace of cups comes in. What's in the environment? What's in the environment for the malefics? Okay, we have a six of cups. We have a friend helping you. It's the energy of somebody who is delivering a message in a sweet way. Um, six of cups is about harmony between friends in a manner that's... Um, innocent the little boy is giving the little girl some flowers and saying here you go okay so so you'll notice i said leo leo taurus and aquarius are not malefic they are fixed energy they are the type of energy that doesn't like change they're the type of energy that is ruled by structure it's like, this is the plan, and I don't move from the plan. However, the malefic signs, the cardinals, will move from the plan. It's like, oh, I'll change. I'll do what, you know, I'll do whatever I need to do. You could say Cancer is a malefic sign ruled by the moon, and it's a cardinal sign. But not really. The moon is about your intense feelings. So, all right. What do we have here for the hope or fear for the malefics all going through it? Wow, so you're hoping for some kind of union. Um, some It's an alliance. It's two people who come together in an alliance where there's love, it's peaceful, the angel is coming down out of the sky and the sun is shining brightly. So you're hoping for whatever this is, it could be courts, it could be, because it has to do with money, or it has to do with commitment. It has to do with being able to leave a legacy behind you, and you get a challenge. You're getting a page of swords. You're getting this, you know, annoying sort of energy in the cross. It's in the challenge. This does influence you. Okay, so you're hoping for an alliance. What are the malefics getting as the outcome? Wow. I think you're going to win because look at this situation. You're dealing with a very shrewd thief. And you're manifesting, you're saying, no, as above, so below, I'm going to make this a wrong made right. I'm going to magically transform this situation. Now, you could be dealing with someone who's trying to make off like a bandit, because that's what I'm thinking. Like someone's trying to make off like a bandit, but your energy is the magician. So manifestation, you're saying, I'm going to, you know, turn this situation around Bottom of the deck is the justice, fairness and balance, page of wands, the moon. There's a victory coming. The moon is about something that's hidden. There's an illusion. There's something you don't know here. And, you know, Aries and Scorpio are ruled by Mars and Scorpio is ruled by Pluto and Capricorn has Pluto in their sign right now. There's a lot of difficult challenges, but look at this, the victory in the Ten of Cups. Something is going to work out in your favor. Look, a slow-moving energy bringing in you an offer. Walking away and then breaking free, being liberated. Okay, so 
you could be right in it right now. Like right in the mess, whatever this is. What is the outcome for this situation, please, with the magician? What is the outcome for this situation with the magician? For the malefic signs. Look at the victory, the public recognition, the accolades, overcoming a difficult situation. This is riding in on the white horse of victory with the laurel wreath and wearing the crown of a laurel wreath. Wearing red. Red is about victories. So you guys are manifesting your victory. However, I am emphasizing the fact that all of you malefics are dealing with a sneaky thief who is shrewd. They, this sneaky thief comes to the camp when all the soldiers are over here at a party and he comes in and he steals. So he's smart. He kind of knows what he's doing. So you're having to put your magician hat on and say, it's not even a magician hat. What this is, is you're having to connect with the divine angels, spirits, and say, you know what? I would like this wrong to be made right because this is what you're dealing with. This is what came out in a whole deck of 78 cards. This is what came out. What you're wanting is you're weren't wanting an alliance. Um, you're wanting this lovers. You're wanting an alliance. Now the moon card was there showing you don't see that this victory is coming. But there is a victory. This is the six of wands. It's a victory. With the magician, Major Arcana, which means you had to literally like contact spirits and angels and say, you know, I need help down here on earth. Look at this. Ten of Cups is on the bottom now with the offer. Okay, what's behind it? We have Aries energy here and the Emperor. We have the Empress. We have the Sun. Okay. So you have this Knight of Cups coming in, delivering the message, the happy news, the good news. You have an Ace of Cups. What is this Knight of Cups about? What is this Knight of Cups about? What is the Knight of Cups? Oh my goodness. See? You don't see that things are going to be okay. The moon is about things that are hidden. The Queen of Pentacles is right here. Somebody is offering you money or this is going to be your energy. You're going to have money, wealth, and financial security. Ten of Pentacles with a crossing energy here. You got some kind of a message. What is the Ace of Cups? that perhaps wasn't a complete message even the moon is like things are hidden you don't see what's coming it's purposely in the dark what is the ace of cups what is the ace of cups people are working on it there are people here working in your favor they're discussing the situation this is a collaboration this is collaborating efforts this is not an easy situation for any of you guys. Why? Because you're malefic signs. <laughs> you were sent here to earth to be strong and to be the one where other people come to you and say, oh my God, my whole life is falling apart. What do I do? And you say, you know what? I've been that through that before. And then you can be the magician for someone else and say, you know what? This is what you do. And this is how you handle it. Because right now, this page of swords could have, perhaps, sent you into a tailspin. Nine of cups, it's going to turn around. You're going to see that it's going to turn around. What is the nine of cups? What is the nine of cups? Wow. Wow. Nine of Cups is a judgment and the King of Pentacles. So a wish is coming true for you. There is money, wealth, great abundance, financial security. Behind it was the Wheel of Fortune. So Fortune's Wheel turning in your favor. There may have been some kind of a minor glitch. People are working on it. You're going to get some good news. 
you're dealing with um, an energy of... I feel like this could be somebody who is a mutable sign and Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. It's somebody who kind of goes sideways through a, a situation. And Aries, Capricorn, Scorpio, you guys handle things head on. Like you'll talk to the person straight to their face and say, what's going on here? This person won't talk to you. They'll go sideways. They'll go around. Okay, so this is your reading for the Malefics. I hope it helps you in some way. Um, I didn't know how this reading was going to turn out. It could have been all tower cards and like horrible, but it's not. It's showing a victory, but manifestation, meaning you have to contact angels and spirits, the realm of the, of the other side of the veil, which is the, and the dimension that we can't see. So you have to have faith. You have to believe that you can get through it. And you will because Ace of Cups is coming in. So there's a new Ace with a three. So there's people who are helping you, assisting you. Okay, guys, this is your reading. Thank you so much and take care.